Where the paralytic dreams that we all seem to keep Drive on engines till they weep with Future pixels in factories far away This week we are talking about food and our relationship to food, what it means to us, experiences. Food is a really touchy personal subject for most people, in particular people who are larger and who have struggled with their weight, who've tried to diet. We're taught by the industry and by society that food is the enemy, that there's such a thing as good food and bad food that food is moral. We're taught to be ashamed of ourselves if we indulge in the wrong kind of food. We are taught that eating any sort of bad food is makes us a bad person and is something that we should be ashamed of and um, as if it's a matter of willpower, as if it's a matter of um, our character. And those of us who have dieted uh, have been taught to not trust our bodies. If we crave chocolate or we crave carbs, we're taught that that just means that we're gluttonous. If our body doesn't crave the right kinds of foods, we're taught that that's our fault. Um, if we crave ice cream or chocolate, that's because we are bad people. That's because we're gluttonous. That's because we don't have any willpower. Um, and we're taught to follow these diets, these rules, these external rules outside of our own selves that tell us what's good and what's bad. These external rules that tell us what our body needs, uh, 1,200 calories a day, 60 grams of fat, uh, however many carbs, however many grams of fiber. And I think that that really teaches us to not listen to ourselves, to not listen to our bodies and trust our bodies. It teaches us to view food as something that is a punishment or um, an indulgence. You know, really, food is food. Food is neutral. There's no good food, bad food. I am of the mindset that you should be mindful of your body and what your body is telling you. If your body is telling you to go out and eat a hamburger, it's probably because your body is craving protein. And so listen to that. Figure out what it is that your body needs and give your body what it needs. Trust it. And that's a really, really hard thing for a lot of us to do because we are taught that hunger is a good thing because that means that we're losing weight. Um, that denial, denying yourself something is a good thing. It makes us better. That makes us thin. That makes us good because we're being on our diet. I've struggled a lot with food in my own life. I was raised in a family where we ate out all of the time. And so... I have always been a very picky eater, so I was never really taught to expand my horizons in terms of trying new foods. Um, I was never taught how to cook. I was never taught anything about uh, organic or um, different options as to how to cook vegetables or anything like that. And so I struggle with it. I struggle now as an adult with learning how to feed my body properly and how to view food as something good, as something wonderful about life, you know, um, fuel for my body and something that nourishes myself. Rather than the sort of mindset that I've always had, which is that food is a guilty pleasure or that food is um, a treat, a tool for control or lacking control. I also think that the dieting industry and the sort of weight loss industry that a lot of us have had experience with teaches us that emotional eating is a bad thing, um, that it's bad to comfort yourself with food, and that it's bad to celebrate with food. And I really think that that's, that's a bad thing. I mean, of course, it's bad for your body to gorge on food, to binge, um, to eat in excess. Um, but to, to do really anything in excess is bad for you. But a moderate amount of emotional eating or pleasure being gained from food, I don't think is a bad thing. I, in fact, think that food enriches life. Food is something to be celebrated. Life is something to be celebrated with food, you know, family functions, holidays. I think we need to get away from this idea that just because we're fat and because we like food, we have some sort of serious mental illness. So I'm curious to know what you all think. Um, if you agree with me, if you disagree with me, please comment below. 